Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Sydney Benter. I'm Alex Capriello in today for Robert Hadlock. San Marcos police arrested two people and are looking for two more after a Texas State football player was shot and killed last night. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell shares what we know about the investigation from San Marcos. The Texas State football team is mourning the loss of 20 year old defensive back Combrail Winters after he was shot and killed at this apartment complex on Aquarina Springs Drive in San Marcos. Winters was from Houston and was an honorable mention all Sunbelt Conference selection in 2019. Coach Jake Spavital released a statement saying he met with the team Wednesday morning to tell them the news. The coaches and players are offering their condolences. Meanwhile, San Marcos police have arrested two people and Lisa Blackman and Michael Ifianacho on capital murder charges. Investigators say they and Winters were at this apartment complex to buy drugs. Detectives believe Blackman met two people to buy a couple of ounces of marijuana. That's when gunshots rang out. Police say that they got several 911 calls saying that shots had been fired and people could be seen running away from the area. The surveillance video at the apartment complex wasn't working, so police are asking any witnesses or anyone else with any kind of footage from the area to come forward as they try to track down the other two people involved. In San Marcos, Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. And if you have any information, we have included the number to reach detectives working this case on our website with that story, kxan.com. This is the third homicide in San Marcos this year. It is on track to have fewer homicides than last year when the city reported seven. But in Austin, the homicide rate is higher than it's been in a decade. Earlier this month, we heard from an APD homicide lieutenant. He wondered if the effort to keep people out of jail because of COVID-19 may be playing a role. But the Travis County DA's office said that even with the pandemic, they aren't recommending release for violent or dangerous offenders. KXAN identified at least two recent homicide cases involving a suspect wearing an ankle monitor while out of jail for previous crimes.